this popped up cinematic. I did not put this on cinematic. I'm so irritated because I'm sitting here and I'm like... I passed a sob this morning. I was writing about that last night. I mean... And I just, I'm like, should I call Arthur? Should I send him an email in Spanish? Like, I don't even know what to do. Because I don't even know what to say to him. But I think I'm going to write him because he likes my writing. And I can see the other side of this book project now. I mean, that was the whole thing. I've been saying this to everybody, but I didn't realize it myself. I mean, that's true. You know? I just... Patience is a virtue of the spirit. He would have to, he was lying to me, but I am a crazy person. I mean, in my twisted brain, I think that everybody's out to get me, you know, and that was so much of my experience of the Trump administration was everybody was out to get me, but was paranoia because I was doing crystal meth. I mean, I didn't fully understand the extent to which crystal meth fucked up my head. But it's apps. I always intuitively or intellectually understood that I was coming out of both a long-term relationship that was very different from the one I wanted to have with Arthur and also that I was just partying. You know, I'm going to... But I honestly didn't feel that myself until yesterday when I was writing. It's just very confusing for me still because everybody treats me fantastically. You know, I just had the best time at the dentist. Even though they did keep me waiting, right? I mean, that's the point. They kept me waiting while they were talking about booking airfare flights. And then nobody came out. Afterwards. And I was so nervous, but it was chill. And I got there early. You know, um, my teeth are clean and now two of them are fixed. And then I have to go back to get more, but I did see the word buckle. B-U-C-C-A-L. And then to get the phone call about the psychiatric follow-up. And then I was like, I thought it was going to be for my Ativan, but then I was like, it was all of my other psychiatric meds. And I was like, I have tons of those here. Right, and the dates they gave me were 5, 2, and 5, 13. So I'm like, okay, but it's true. I mean, I get it, people. But it's like I lived for so much of my life under the influence of substances. And then I also lived for so much of my life under the influence of stigma. You know, and to feel both the stigma being gone 
and then to not have the influence of the substances and marijuana i mean i do have a 10 milligram edible in me but i you know that's basically nothing that's like having a cup of coffee for me and that's what i was thinking this morning i was like you're irritable and you feel tired but you actually slept a decent amount you got up you managed to do everything normally. You're not feeling crazy. It was interesting, you know, doing that walk and then waiting in front of the Macy's where there was another job for a retail sales associate. And all of this really hinged on Whole Foods yesterday, right? It just was like, why am I going to do this? Right? I mean, last week when I was at Nordstrom, and there was a thing on the bus, right? The four, right? Which had such an interesting little loop. And then I'm seeing this cool ass dude with a tote bag, black guy, of course, totally stylish, my style. I mean, how I would dress. I was like taking notes from him. Exactly what I say in interviews. I'm paying attention to what people are wearing on the street. And I was trying to catch, I was trying to see him. I was waiting for the bus to pull up next to him, but it turned out he was going into, I don't know, the back of the Nordstrom store, maybe. It just was like, it's too perfect, right? And then to go around the corner and pass the Shake Shack, which didn't hire me, right? Joe and the Juice, which I didn't show up for that interview either online, and then I didn't hear anything from them. Whole Foods actually got back to me today in this totally bizarro, you know, email that was so, it was exactly like, exactly, you know, and I've learned when people call me, that's not real. Because no documentation. Anyway, whatever. All this to say, I am feeling great, you know, but I'm also just trying to manage my energy. But I have had to teach myself how to write or, you know, I mean... I mean, every single thing that Arthur said to me has come true, right? Like when you land, I mean, I really can't get over this book though, by the way. I mean, it's over there on my night table. I mean, the Dan Harris book. And then the stuff about Amanda Seals on the tonality, I mean... But the Dan Harris book, Deepak Chopra, I mean, everything Deepak Chopra is talking about in this book, I've experienced now myself, right? Dan Harris, you know, judges him for using the language transformational vortex to the infinite. I actually understand that now. Because the infinite is a concept like anything else. It means limitless, right? I think Bradley Cooper. Of course, that movie, which I did not see, but the idea that you can do anything is what infinite means to me, right? You can do, I don't like how that looks. You can do anything. But there's no limit to what you can do on this planet. That's what that means. Anyway, I'm distracted. I also had a dream last night that people tell me that I should stop wearing this, these necklaces because they looked cheap. 
and I felt judged by that. And then I was like, fuck it. I've been wearing these necklaces since I met Arthur, since before I met Arthur. No, actually, since I've been with Arthur, I got this one. But yeah, I mean, I really feel like I've landed in a great place, but you know, it's still a very daunting task for me to write even this piece I want to write for New York Magazine. You know, I just have to do it really slowly, like a paragraph at a time. Anyway, I've said more than enough for now. Ciao for now.